everybody, welcome back to Battletoads Arcade. Oh, starting it off by looking at the Dark Queen. Uh, but yeah, we're back. Beating up some dudes, having a good time, relaxing, chillaxing, all cool, shooting some sea ball outside of the school. But, uh, it's good to be back. Um, I apologize uh, ahead of time, guys, that this didn't come out uh, earlier when it was supposed to. Uh, I don't know what happened. I just came across like a really bad like 24-hour bug and I was just like I was just not feeling well. So, but we're back. So we're, we're back to the punching, we're back to the kicking, we're back to the having fun. And uh first of all, big shout outs to you guys, man. Thanks for digging the very first episode of Battletoads Arcade, man. Like it, it's nice to see that you guys appreciate like, you know, good arcade nostalgia the way I do. And you appreciate the beat 'em up genre first of like to be totally honest, like, you guys were like, yo, I remember, like, arcades and stuff like that. I remember going to, like, certain arcades and playing stuff. And that just got me, like, hyped, dude. Oh, he's a big one. Hoo Give me that ball. <laughs> I, I literally grabbed this guy by the balls. Oh. There's no other cooler way than that. There's no cooler way than destroying an enemy than kick... Than... Repeatedly punching him in the balls until he is no longer able to move. That, that's that's 90s. That's 90s humor there for you guys. Like, enjoy that. Enjoy that. 90s humor. But, uh, yeah, man. Like, I just want to say thanks, guys, for, for enjoying the first episode so much. It's like, it, it makes me happy that so many people that watch my stuff have, like, played in arcades, have gone to arcades... Just know, like, the fun that arcades are and what kind of, like, awesome stuff that they provide and everything. And it's like, that stuff just, it makes me happy. It makes me happy that you guys appreciate this genre as much as I do. So, thanks, guys. Thanks, man. You guys are the best. So, yeah, shout-outs to you dudes. Well, don't burn myself. Um, but yeah, now that, I'm, now that I have more time to talk about it, so, I have to think, man, like... Because the amount of, like, money that I can tell you that I wasted on these arcade machines... This particular one, as a kid... Uh, honestly, at that point, I probably could have just bought the arcade cabinet myself. But... I'll leave that for a question for you guys to, like, talk about in the in the comment section, if you'd like. Uh, what's, like, a... If you played in the arcades and stuff like that, what's, like, an arcade that... Like, no matter what, no matter what, you... Anytime you were there or near it, you had to pop some quarters into it and play it. Like, like, what's one that just, like, immediately is like, Oh, dude, I love this arcade so much, I gotta play it. <laughs> this, 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 he's poop. He's pooping. But, uh, yeah. Like, the list for me is, like, it's crazy. Like, I remember playing, I remember just going into any arcade that I could find. I saw, like, I saw, like, Galaga or Pac-Man, and I'm just like, I have to, I have to play it. I have to. Even though I had... Pac-Man on like the NES and stuff like that. There's just there's something there's something unique about playing something in an arcade cabinet that is just like it kind of it kind of just more or less is, there's like no other comparison to it, you know? Give me that dick, boy. Ow! No! No! It's like I wa I wanted that dick. Give me that dick. <laughs> <laughs> it's just so funny. It's like, I'm going to punch you in the balls. You, you gotta love it. But, uh... But yeah, I think... I think a majority of, like, the arcades that I played that I was just like, Oh, I, can't, I gotta play them. Uh, of course, like... I think one I particularly remember the most was, like, Time Crisis back in the day. Because I know it's not technically a beat-em-up, but it's like a light gun shooter. And if you guys have ever played any of, like, the... House of the Dead or Time Crisis or something like that. You know, you know, oh! you know how fun those games can be and just like how crazy, like adrenaline pumping they can be. But yeah, it's just it's just a good time all around, man. Like playing those and like, of course, like you guys know since I like fighting games so much. Like I played my Mortal Kombat's. I played my I played my Street Fighters. I even played like the off-brand ones, like Urban Championship, like the ones that really shouldn't have been fighting games, but they were just kind of like 
trying to branch off of the Mortal Kombat success and everything like that. It's like, we can make a fighting game with digitized actors in it and call it, like, our own thing. Oh, oh! Give me that dick! I'm, I'm handing out nut punches all day, baby. Ow! Ow! No! Nut punches! You're not gonna be laughing when I grab that dick! And that's how you learn. That's how you learn. But yeah, man. Just, just again, like, countless hours. Countless hours spent in arcades, man. It's just, like, again, that's. I guess that's why I miss the genre of arcades. Just the idea of arcades so much, man. Like, there are still some arcades out there. And some of them are still thriving. And there's still new arcade games being made now. But, it's just, I feel like it's just, like, it's not... It's not the way it used to be, and it makes me miss it even more, you know? Whoa! They got heavy artillery! Now they're hitting me with a giant mouse butt. Oh, oh! But yeah, guys. Let, let, me, know, let me know. Let me know. What's an arcade that, like, no matter what, when you were a kid, or, like, even... He's, he's still pooping. Or even now, like, this is something that's like, and I don't matter, it doesn't matter how many times I've played it or seen it, or where, what other kind of, like, you know, platform I own it on. I have to play it when I see it in arcades. Like, def like I'm going down the list, I keep forgetting to go down the list, but, um... Uh, uh, I think one that, like, I always, I know for a fact I always have to play, um... Like, I don't know if you guys ever played, like, Cruising, like, Cruising USA, but, yeah. Just, like, the, the opening, the opening, like, little song is, like, Cruising, yeah, USA. It's just, like, that stuff got me hyped, dude. And, like, Daytona USA from Sega, I just, this, I could go, again, I could go on for hours about arcades that I loved, man. There's so many, there's so many. It's just, I, I love arcades, man. That's one of the reasons why I'm trying to buy an arcade cabinet now, for just, uh, I guess for, like, more or less nostalgia purposes, but since, like, I like collecting, like, video games and stuff like that, I figured, like, arcade cabinets would definitely be something that I would want to collect. But the only thing is, that's an expensive collectible. <laughs> like, you're gonna have to drop a, a lot of coin if you, if you, if you want to start collecting them, because they're expensive. Not just the cabinet alone, but, like, um, just collecting, like, the stuff, and if it's not in working order, collecting, or not collecting, uh, paying people who know how to fix those things to get them in working order. It's just, it's, a uh, it's a lot of stuff, man. That is, it's definitely, it's definitely a hobby that will take a lot of time and money, but... If you're passionate about it, like, it doesn't necessarily need to be gaming stuff. Like, if it's just something that you're passionate about and something that you enjoy and something that you like to do, then, you know what? Go for it, man. You enjoy it, you love it, what's stopping you from, like, being, devoting your time to it, you know? Everybody's got their thing, whether it's, like, collecting video games, making music, like, I don't know, breakdancing i don't care it was whatever it is man if like if you love it keep doing it man and and don't stop at anything that'll keep you from doing it but i guess that's just me man i was like i i love being able to be passionate about something you know oh no 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 i want to grab your balls stop that <laughs> <laughs> I'm a nut grabbing machine. Ah! I'm going to make your testosterone testicles hurt. <laughs> I'll be the man punching nuts. <laughs> this is so awesome. Oh, the Dark Queen. Oh, sweet baby. Again, she's she's so she's so beautiful. Aw, oh, man. I want to grab his robo-nuts. Oh! I'm coming back, baby. 
Yeah. I wonder, like, if I could change my limbs into a like a giant like version of something. I wonder what I would turn them into. Like, that's another question I have for you guys. If you guys could do like a Battletoad style like move, and you could change your body into like a giant form of something, what would you change it into? Like, would you change it to like a sword? Would you change it to like a medieval weapon, a buzzsaw? What would you do? I, myself, personally, I don't know. That's a, a lot of choices. I would probably just turn them into giant like, uh, like dispensers of mustard and ketchup. <laughs> That's probably what I'd turn mine into. It's like I'm not gonna hurt you, but I will. I will spread condiments all over your your delicious dinner. That's how. That's how. That's the danger that I'm gonna provide. <laughs> oh yeah! Whoa! Whoa! He's a he's a hefty one. He's a hefty one. Wah! Oh, someone's gonna die. Yeah! Ow! Ow! You have no legs. How are you? How are you hurting me now? Stop it! Ah! Uh. Ah! Uh. I think the one thing that I hate most of, about arcades is once you like lose all your lives and then you get the continue screen. It's like continue, and then it gives you the countdown, and then you run out of money, and then you can't continue because you're broke. That was like the most devastating in the world to a kid, especially if you play arcades a lot. It's just like it's the second you would see those screens, you're just like, oh no, the game is officially beating me because I don't have any more money. It's like Street Fighter. Can I do it? Taking down the machine. Oh man, I only have 42 seconds left. Come on, come on! <laughs> yeah! 50 kills, termination bonus. Okay, so I think we'll call it here. And in the next one, more Battletoads Arcade, guys. Until then, I've been Benches. This was Battletoads Arcade. I love all your faces. I'll see you next time. See you later!